Welcome back to Suncoast View. Our guest host Michael Clauber and his wife Terry often lead wine focused trips to different regions of the world. Well, during a recent trip to South Africa, they discovered more than just wine. They found a special gin called Inveroche. After three years of effort, it is now available at Michael's on East. And Michael has brought it to share with us as well. Well, thank you for this special treat. You are so <laughs> welcome. So you are very, very much known for your wine, but it's more than just wine. What makes Inveroche so special? Well, this is a this is a really unique gin and not like any that you've ever had before. It's actually um, distilled using um, the Fienbos from the Cape Floral Kingdom, the very southern tip of South Africa, which is a UNESCO heritage site and one of six really famous floral kingdoms in the world. There are over 9,000 species that grow in this area and 6,000 or plus of them are, are unique just to that area. Oh. So wow. this gin is made and then it's distilled and infused with these uh, botanicals from that area. So if you smell this, well, the first it thing doesn't smell like any gin. The first thing before. we have to notice is it's not the color that yes, I thought gin no. was. So. I always thought gin was clear. But right. So this one, because of the botanicals that it's infused with, okay. takes on the color from all oh. of those different plants and flowers. It has a wonderful it aroma. Does. I smell the orange. So I sm it's you different. can take a little sip of it, and then I'm going to tell you to we're going to tonic it. Okay. And mm. It's smooth. Yes. People are amazed it's all the time smooth. when they taste this. I'm not sure I've ever tried gin by itself. And it challenges my perception of gin. Yes. For sure. Yes. I agree. Because you expect that bite yes, that you know yes. with gin. All right. So now we're going to try, obviously, gin and tonic. A little extremely bit, Well, this is the popular. classic drink when yes. we're on safari in South Africa. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Okay. When wow. you're at the sundowner, you are definitely you sipping a big glass with a giant ice cube and a big snifter like this. And is that because gins in general are very special in South Africa? It's actually gin is hot all over the world right now. Okay. It really is. We've been, we were in a bar in London recently, and they had over 200 different gins from all over the world. Fun. Wow. We happen to think this one is super special, and as I said, it took three Three years, it's easier to get wine into the U.S. than it is to get a distilled spirit like this. Why that, is that? Yeah, that, that is a good S question. How do you oh, get something good. from what, one of your travels to the Suncoast? What is that whole process? Because three years is a long time. It has to get federal label approval. You have to find an importer. You have to find a distributor in Florida. So not easy. But we fought for it. We what? haven't given <laughs> up. And we are right now. We're exclusive in Florida. So um, you will amazing. see it around, around the country as they get better distribution. And we also, Justin uh, Rickroad, our general manager, also created a cocktail. Thank you, sir. We call a Welcome to our show. Come yeah. anytime. <laughs> yeah. So this Look is using, this. there are three Thank different you. gins. There's the classic, which is what this cocktail is made from, the amber, and the verdant. Um, I have, they're all three a little bit different. Oh, wow. So this one you can see has the juniper berries mm -hmm. and, um, it's beautiful. and other fruits in it. It um, is. Incredible way to enjoy gin and a, and a great gin and tonic twist. So we can Ooh. come enjoy Inveroche with you, but this is not something we will be able to, you know, go to a, a spirit store to purchase. Pretty soon you will. You'll okay, start so to see it in more places. All right. But so we good have for it you for Michael's getting this going. Cellar. Yeah. We have it in the wine store now. And oh, you can buy it at the any, wine store. Yes. Okay. Anybody that's been with us on any of our South African trips is dying to get it, and they've been parading in to get this gin because we've we've allowed we've tasted it when we're there, uh -huh. and they're all like, "Come on, you got to get this, Michael and Terry. Come on, get it going." <laughs> so we got it. We're thrilled, and we're so proud of Lorna and her, her whole team at Inveroche for what they've done in creating this really unique and special spirit. Well, it really says something about your discoveries that you'll wait and still continue for three years to make sure that it gets here. Yes. I mean, I, I would imagine if you didn't really care much about it, it would fall off after about sure. six months. Sure, uh, yeah. right. All right, it's not worth it. You do bring a lot of things from your travels to your menu. So you have a special menu series after your travels called Epicurean Adventures. Sure. Why is it important to you to bring these to us? You know, a part of what I have always loved doing is bringing new ideas and new concepts to Sarasota. I mean, from the first days in the business for me, it's always been about finding new experiences for people to have. And so as Terry and I travel, we lead these trips. For instance, this summer we were in Portugal, so we're just finishing the month doing a whole mm -hmm. Portuguese mm -hmm. me menu that was inspired by that. Um, next month we're doing Brazil. So we, you know, all of these travels that we go when we were in France, we bring back French ideas. We love doing South Africa. 
And so that's really easy for us after coming back from one of those trips with all the flavors there. But yes, it's all about bringing new concepts and challenging our kitchen because every one of those in one of those every one of those Epicurean menus has to be the first time that we've created that dish. Mm -hmm. And what also happens is some of those dishes are so popular they bump something else off the regular menu, oh. and it keeps our our main restaurant menus fresh and new. Because too. people love them and you want them to stay. Exactly. Well, I think it's such a treat for all of us because sadly in our jobs we. We don't get to go to countries and experience all the different <laughs> cuisines a few times a year, but we learn so much. I mean, for instance, what Chef Jamil's making today, you know, something with the egg and the potato and the fish, I, you know, that's nothing that I have certainly ever experienced before, and it makes me want to go places after experiencing the cuisine with you. Yeah. I like this, Michael. <laughs> oh, good, Linda. <laughs> Michael, you, Cheers to that. You often are very much credited and, and deservedly with turning the Suncoast into a culinary destination. What does it feel like for you to kind of see how how something that you bring in or a new trend can filter out into all of the culinary scene here. Is there a sense of pride? There is a great sense of pride in what our community is creating. When I look at the Sarasota Manatee Originals and 60 plus restaurants all working together from tip of Anna Marie Island to Venice Pass, all passionate independent chefs and owners that are doing something great to continue what I think has become a true heritage of our region Absolutely. is a culinary mm -hmm. heritage and a, and a great part of that is the food and beverage and the great restaurant tours that we have in well, this Well thank room. you well, for yes. getting yes. it started because you. we love that part and of our area. Yeah. So of cheers to you. <laughs> yeah, cheers. We've got a great education thanks to you. For all more right. information on the Epicurean Adventures at Michael's on East and all of their unique offerings go online or visit them in person. Online you can find them at bestfood.com.